Welcome back to this tutorial series where I'm walking you through the steps required to set up a quiz successfully on Moodle. In this video, I'm going to address a common concern for many people. How do we import questions that we already have into Moodle? For most people, they already have questions that have been set up in Microsoft Word that they want to import to Moodle and entering each question individually is not an option because that will take forever, particularly at the time that I'm recording this, where the COVID-19 pandemic is really causing havoc across higher education. So I'm going to show you a very simple way, and this is beginner friendly, but this is not the best way. I'll show you a better way in a follow-up tutorial, which is more pro level, but if you're a beginner, I think this will be a video that you like. So in this case, I just went on the Moodle website and I took two questions that I will use in this demo. And I'm using Microsoft Word on micro, on um, Windows 10. So I'll just paste in the questions that I copied from Moodle. Now you will, you will notice a couple of things about the formatting that we have here. The questions do not have to be numbered. I have seen tutorials on YouTube that encourage people to put numbers on the questions. That is not wise because when you're using these questions in quizzes on Moodle, they may be shuffled in terms of their order. So if you were to label this number one, it will always appear as number one, even though the quiz might serve the question as number 10. So do not add numbers to your questions. Just type out the question, then the options below. It's important that you use capital letters for the options. So there must be capital A, B, C, D, that's important. You must do that. Now, you can use periods or you can use the closing parenthesis to separate the option from the answer. So it's only the period or the closing parenthesis. Please make sure you follow that format if you don't want to have any problems. Then, between the option letter and the separating character and the actual options, there should be a space. So make sure you leave one space there. That helps Moodle to be able to notice that this is the option letter and this is the actual option that is to be selected. Then once you have um, done that, below the options, in capital letters, you write the word answer followed by a column. Then you leave a space and you enter the correct option, remember capital as well. So here's the other format, the one that uses a parenthesis, but you can see the formatting is basically the same. So this is what you would need to do to all of your questions in uh, Microsoft Word. As soon as you're done with this, you're supposed to save this file as a plain text file. And I'll show you how to do so. So I'll go to File and Save. Then I will save it on this PC and I'll give it a file name of a demo, Aiken Quiz. This format is called the Aiken format, that's why I chose Demo Aiken Quiz. Then instead of saving it as a Word document, I will click in here and choose plain text. Then I will save. Now a dialog will pop up and Microsoft Word will ask you which format you want to use as you're saving your plain text file. Do not use Windows Default or MS-DOS. Choose Other Encoding and navigate to Unicode UTF-8. Then when you're done, you can save. Once you have saved this file successfully, you can close your word processor and you can go to Moodle. Then we'll get ready to upload our file. Now in Moodle, you remember I'm using the, stamp, the Snap theme. Your environment may be slightly different depending on the theme that is installed for you. So I'll navigate to the gear icon, in the top right, and I will go to question bank and click on the little arrow to expand. Then I'll click on import. Once I'm at the import screen, I'll select Aiken format, then I'll scroll down. It's important if you have set up question banks like I showed you in a previous tutorial, 
if you missed that there's a link to that video just above if you had set up your question banks, you can select the appropriate question bank by clicking in here. I want to import these two questions into the demo bank. You can see it already has one question. Then I will scroll down and I'll choose my file. Upload a file, then choose file. Where I will select the demo Aiken quiz and open that. Once I've selected the file, I can choose a, a file name to save it as. I'll just save it as a demo. A can quiz and I will upload this file. Now once it has been uploaded you can go ahead to import. You'll notice that you'll get a notification from Moodle. It's passing questions from the import file. Then it noticed that there were two questions in the file and it lists the questions down here. If you do not get an error message, that means you did everything correctly. But if you get an error message, you might need to go back and just check if all your questions are formatted correctly. Now I will click on continue. And once I've done that, Moodle will show me the questions in the question bank. And as you can see, there are the questions. If you want to just see if everything imported correctly, you can click on the magnifying glass to preview. And there you go, let's fill in correct responses and that is the correct answer that it filled in which is exactly what we wanted. So we can close the preview and that is how you can quickly add questions, multiple um, questions to a question bank on Moodle. In the next tutorial I will show you a slightly more advanced method which is probably going to be more comprehensive because it gives you more options and more flexibility in terms of the question types that you can import into Moodle. So you can expect that in the next few days. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you missed any of the other videos in this series, please may you click on the link in the description below. It will take you to the playlist that I created which lists all of the videos in here. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me by commenting just down below the video. If you're watching this video from another site which is not YouTube, you can just click on the title of this video and it will take you to YouTube and you can send a comment and I'll be able to respond. If you benefited from any of the videos in this series, please may you feel free to like the videos. It helps YouTube notice that they are valuable and serve them to other people who would benefit from this information. Until the next video, be blessed and enjoy what remains of your day.